Hi everyone, I'm Monica and I'm doing a video today of my dog show mobile uh, conversion van mini motorhome build that I did. It's a 1999 Ford E150 van. It's a conversion by Sherrod. Um, I picked it up a couple years ago from a family uh, who, well, actually I'm the second owner and Ada's going to give us a yell at us anyway. Um, the build was done all by me. Um, the only tools I have are a, I guess it's not a hand saw, it's a chop, no not a chop saw. Anyway, it's a saw you use in your hand. Anyway, I can't remember what they're called. And I have some hand tools and I have a drill and an electric sander. Uh, so anyway, um, some of my cuts aren't perfect. Circular saw, that's what I used, a circular saw that my wonderful brother gave me for Christmas. So anyway, um, almost every piece of wood used in the build uh, was recycled, was from another project. Uh, some, my boss was uh, had some three quarter inch plywood that was sitting in a shed and they were gonna get rid of it and told me if I wanted to take it. Uh, so anyhow, I'm gonna open the doors. As I said, this is my dog show mobile, so uh, the main focus on it's gonna be uh, my dogs and things, but as some people said, gee, you could live in this van. And actually, if I had to, I probably could live in the van. So anyhow, uh, on the doors you can see I've got some of my gear. I uh, do search and rescue with my dachshunds. And I'm very proud of the fact that I have the only dachshund in the United States right now that is a nationally certified search and rescue canine. Uh, she has an amazing nose. I have some more dog gear on this side. Now, if you look straight ahead, you're gonna see the cabinet I built. Now, this is some of the plywood that was sitting in a shed, so it was a little warped. Um, but, you know, I like to recycle and reuse and do everything I can. Uh, the crates were built by my ex-husband. They're wonderful crates. Uh, what this is, this is the very first thing that I built for the van. And it has a countertop, uh, which uh, is kind of funky. I didn't cut it the way I should have cut it, but it works. Uh, and then it has storage. And where the cooler and the fan are, I have a large plastic uh, box that goes up there that holds all my food. This also can hold another dog crate. Actually, that can hold a dog crate also. Or a supply box. Right now I've got my blankets and my towels in there. You can see everything secures in with bungees and screw eyes. Uh, I do have a way to put air conditioning in here because of the roof. Um, I don't have a rooftop air conditioner, but with dogs you have to. So what I've done is, and it's not in here right now, but I do have a portable air conditioner that will fit right there. And then here is the hose line that hooks up to that for the drainage and it drains right out through uh, where the seats were there was holes so i basically took it and it drains out right there so we don't have any water building up in the van when the air conditioner's on i don't have that in as i said whenever it hit at the uh the airflow pipe or whatever they call it i guess i'm not a technical person it goes out that window i have a piece that fits in the window and it goes out and vents out that window so Anyhow, this is the inside of the van, and I built everything in here. This bed, and I have it clipped right now because, uh, as I said, I used a circular saw, so some of my cuts weren't exactly perfect, um, but they worked, and it's finger done, and I'm going to undo it, and I'll show you on one side. It slides out, so when you want to sleep at night, you can pull this out, and you can see I have it fingered. I don't have that side out down there. And then I have a foam mattress, and I have yet to make the uh, cover for it. So I just have a plain cover on it right now. Uh, it's very comfortable the way it is. Behind this, I have a power strip, and I can show you that. So that I can power my electronics. And that power strip sits right there. When I flip the bed down at night, this pulls out. This flips down and forms a bed which comes out to about here. I also built this high enough so that I can store uh, my clothes chest, important things, uh, the most important thing, I'll go back here, my porta potty, 
slides right underneath in and out so you can just pull it in and out when you need it and i have my tools and my levelers and my hammers and all kinds of good stuff there i have my exercise pens secured in here in the back so they're one of the first things when i get to a show i can get the exercise pens out and get the dogs out since they've been traveling a while on this side I have my uh, gear stored, grooming tables, poop scoops, chairs, things like that. I took a, I guess it's a shoe organizer, and cut it down, and now I use it with my hanging clothes, and I can put some shoes, because I don't take that many pair of shoes, and other little things can be stored in there. I also have put lights in, uh, just clamp lights you get at Walmart and just clamp them on and have them feeding in. This cabinet, which is the last thing that I just built, is the cabinet for the microwave and the uh, refrigerator. And it was again all built out of recycled lumber. Fit in there. I put a power strip on it so I can power. That's got the light here into it. Actually it's got two lights into it and the refrigerator and the microwave and when we go around on the outside i'll show you the outside port i put a just a um you know those vinyl floor squares is the countertop on this and again i used a hook and eye and it secures it in this way this is secured and everything is secured into the main frame of the van um with uh now this carabiner is not a really good one. I bought some better ones. I just haven't replaced it yet. And I, so uh, that cheap one's going away and I have a heavy steel one that's going to go there. And on the other side of the van, I've done the same thing. And this has, a, has one of the good ones on there. I have another one that will go on the other side. And it is all secured into the main frame. As I said, it's my storage. I cut a hole in it for the vent for the microwave when it's running so anyhow it is a high top and I am only five foot two so I can stand easily anybody tall would have a hard time standing in here but for me it fits perfectly um, plenty of room for me and the dogs and uh, dogs are always as you see secure uh, in the front the next project that I haven't purchased yet I'm trying to find one very cheap I'm, I'm trying to be as frugal as I can I want to get a swivel for that front passenger seat so that when I'm parked, I can flip it completely around and face it back here. And I think that's probably about the last thing I'm going to do. Oh, I haven't installed the TV. I had a TV that fit perfectly in that spot, and we hit a bump, and the uh, thing went flying and kind of pulled out the antenna piece. So I've got another TV. It's a little bigger than that one, and I'm going to have to get it mounted in there. I also have added, I call it my mood lighting, and uh, it's just a battery-powered LED, which it says I can get quite a few hours on that. So if I'm dry camping, I at least have lights. The other thing I did is I took out the uh, one of the speakers from the stereo system, and I've mounted in a paper towel roll because we all know how we need paper towels. This is another countertop. This is the original uh, countertop and original build that I did uh, when I bought the van two years ago. So we'll go outside and I'll show you how I get electric in here because people say, oh, how can you run the microwave? Well, I bought a, an electrical port for an RV and had a friend drill a hole and we put silicone on it and did it real good. So if we come around the back of the van, and we're going to hear, hear from another country here, show you the back of the van, and this is where I said I've got my table and everything stored. Here's how I have my exercise pens stored, and they're all, again, just on eye hooks and bungeed in. Uh, the other thing that I didn't show is I can take this chair off and set it right in this area here, and I have a TV tray that I picked up for a dollar at a yard sale. It's back there. And I have a table so I can sit in the evening and have dinner or, you know, read a book or whatever I'm doing, work on a project. Okay, how I get electric. 
I get my electric right here, the same way all RVs do. I've got a plug. My friend drilled a hole for me. I ordered this online, and you can see here's how my electric comes out right there. Anyway, that's pretty much what my uh, dog show mobile uh, conversion van mini motorhome is. Uh, it's very comfortable, as I said. Uh, the two things as I, I, well, I said as I need to do, I need to get uh, that swivel seat up front. And I would like to get a fantastic fan because um, I know I can actually load that or cut a hole in the roof and do it. But um, I'm not afraid of do-it-yourself projects, but I don't know how to get in there without screwing that, the, uh, the fabric that's on the roof, etc. So I guess I need to do some more reading on Facebook. But uh, this is my dog showmobile. This is my weekend home away from home. It's a lot cheaper than the camper was. I get about 12 to 13 miles per gallon versus about eight or nine when I had the other camper. So that's it. Bye from Doxy Jewels and Monica.